Jen. A lot of you have been wondering how to ship large items. Um, I just sold this for $160, so I thought I would uh, demonstrate how I'm going to be shipping it. The first thing I did was I had I have some saran wrap type of stuff that I got from uh, Office Depot a while back. Um, it's pretty inexpensive from what I remember. I'm not exactly sure the price on it, but this kind of clanked together when I would move it, so I saran wrapped it so that it's pretty sturdy, it doesn't make a lot of noise. Um, so it's ready to go in the box. I bought a extra large box from Home Depot. Um, actually, I'm going to be using two of them. This one is 22 by 22 by 21 and a half. First thing I want to do is add some popcorn or packing peanuts to the bottom. And be, I didn't want the tables going through the packing peanuts to the bottom of the box. So I'm going to put some cardboard between the um, tables and the bottom of the box. prevent that from happening. Okay. So then we'll lift the tables in. Okay. And then if you'll notice there's enough room on the sides for me to get some packing peanuts between the tables and the sides. And then I have the other box. You'll notice that it's it doesn't fit in this box, so um, we're going to use the other box that I bought. Put that over this. It's a bit of a challenge to fit it in there, especially if you put the packing peanuts in first. But we didn't do that this time. You learn from your mistakes. All right. Get that down a little further, make sure it's not tearing on the sides, it looks good. Okay, so if you look in the box, there's still quite a bit of room on the sides here. And what I'm going to do to cut down on the bubble wrap, or I mean the uh, packing peanuts that I use, is I have a bunch of small boxes. I'm going to put those in. and fit those pretty tight up against the wall here. And then I'll still have to put some packing peanuts in there, which is no big deal. And it looks like I'm gonna need more boxes than I thought I was gonna need. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so I um, built a couple more boxes, but then I was thinking um, I'm gonna put some more some peanuts in the bottom without any boxes on one side, and we'll tip it this way. Sorry. To get any peanuts on the bottom on the other side, so everything is kind of filled up all around there, and then any other ones can fall on that side. Okay, so here's box number one on that side. <coughs> and uh, using boxes that are a little bigger would be more efficient, but I want to get rid of these boxes anyway, so I'm just uh, using those. So that's what I have for boxes in there. Now I'll fill the rest with packing peanuts. Yeah, it's lots of packing peanuts. That's why you want to build in this cost along with the shipping cost into your price if you're um, not charging for shipping, if you have to be shipping like I do. So we'll pack those down a little bit. 
I'm going to end up, uh, I'm going to trim the back a little bit. But I want to make sure there's peanuts on the sides. So a good amount of peanuts on the sides so they're not banging against the sides. See so the adjustments are made when that's shipping. I open the box a little, a little bit on the side to get some to fall down in there. <coughs> so now I can put some more. I don't think this will make a difference in the shipping cost just because it's such a large box. Normally I would possibly cut off these flaps here from the original box, but I'll just leave them. So take that all around. Put a few pieces on. Okay, and for good measure, we'll put another jam on the side here. And I also like to um, seal this a little bit. I don't think I'll go all the way around with that, but I'll go on all four sides. So, after this, this box is ready I'll just have to weigh it and that um, takes some maneuvering on the uh, scale and some peeking through the uh, a hole. But um, anyway, um, that's how I package my large items and you could even take it to the pack and ship place and have them weigh it. But otherwise, it's good to go. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that um, alleviates some fears for people in shipping uh, large items. All right, thanks.